Thank you for joining this quick troubleshooting video. In this video, we're going to learn how to resolve the cannot import file message when importing a CSV file into a Marketing Cloud data extension. First, we'll log into our Marketing Cloud account, and navigate to Email Studio, Email. Next, hover over the Subscribers tab and select Data Extensions from the drop-down menu. From here, we'll locate the data extension that we want to import data into, and then click the Import icon. Oh no, we've encountered an error. It says we cannot import file. This is a fairly common issue in new Marketing Cloud accounts, and there is a quick resolution to this error. When importing a file, we'll first need to create an FTP user in the account. Let's do that, shall we? First, we'll click out of this dialog window, Hover over our username in the upper right corner to see the drop-down menu, and select Administration from the Setup menu. Next, we'll hover over the Accounts tab and select FTP Accounts. We can confirm here that there is not yet an existing FTP user for our account. So we'll select the Add FTP User button, create a password, and click Save. After a few minutes, the FTP user creation process should be complete. We can verify this by selecting the Refresh Status button, and we will see the status update from Pending to Success. And here we see that we have a success. At this point, it is recommended as a best practice to clear your browser's cache and cookies to ensure that the browser session is fully refreshed before the next import. I'm going to pause the recording and take a moment to do that. So I've successfully cleared my cache and cookies and navigated back into my Marketing Cloud account. From here, we'll head back to our data extension, and we'll try our import once more. We'll select our file once again. and click Next, and we can see that we're able to move along and map our header rows. Once we've confirmed that's correct, we'll click Next, and verify that we're ready to begin the import. And we can see that our import has successfully started. Now we'll close out this dialog box, navigate back to our data extension, confirm that it's processing, and after a few moments we should be able to click on the Records tab and see that this will populate. And there we are, a successful import. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please visit the Salesforce Help Portal, where you can find great resources, including communities, documentation, trails, or you can also contact support. Happy trailblazing!